Welcome, beautiful ladies of my heart. I'm so glad you're here. I have some simple yet effective techniques for hooded eyes and for keeping our under eye seat concealer from creasing. That is a challenge for all of us, especially at our age. And I'm assuming that all of you are, my ladies are all over 60 and do have somewhat of the same challenges that I have based on your eye type. Now here are some of the eye types. Do you have upturned eyes? Do you have round? Do you have monolid? Downturned, hooded, and almond. I feel no matter what the shape of your eyes, this technique I'm gonna show you for this area of our eyes, this is where we're gonna concentrate. We need to look straight ahead. My hood is really heavy. Having your eye shaped in mind, and focusing on this area right here, as I said, uh, I will show you the techniques that worked for me and how you can apply them for yourself. So the first step I learned is to clean your eyelids. And I thought that was so uh, uh, cool. I never even thought of it because I wash my face in the morning. And I do apply a skincare on my eyes. So I go to put my makeup in 30, on in 30 minutes. My eyes could have, are still oily. So the best thing I saw to do was to take Marcella, Marcella Wada, and a little cotton ball or I have a little cotton pad and I dip it in there and I gently wash the top of my eyes. You want to scrub the meat off. You just want to make sure you don't have any oil on it. So after that's done, then you're going to prep the under eyes. And I like to get them hydrated with oil. And I used this morning the Ordinary 100% uh, Squalene and I just took a teeny, teeny bit and I dabbed it under my eyes and I made sure it was as absorbed as can be. And you've got a little bit, because we're gonna put our eyeshadow on first, so that'll still stay hydrated. You can use eye cream, you can use a, a hydrating moisturizer, and just make sure we get those eyes hydrated because that will help our concealer go on mucho better. We're gonna go on to the eye primer. Now, I don't use eye primer. I, I it just seems too thin for me. I need a concealer to cover it up. So I have this NYX concealer, and I crack up, ladies, because of the numbers on this. This number on here for the color is CW02. What does that mean? But I like this NYX has worked for me in the past. So you take a little tad of it and put a couple of little spots on your eyes. And then you take your concealer brush. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to have to put up my mirror and you'll be able to see it but that way I can look straight forward which will be easier and demonstrate how to do this technique so now I'm doing this I'm doing dabbing 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 there turn my mirror around this way hopefully it won't shine on you and I'm going to cover since I have deep set eyes I try to go in these little deep crevices as well with the concealer and I go up I got to go up to my brow. I already uh, put my uh, foundation on today and uh, I did this eye because I'm only going to do one eye on camera. The brows help you frame in your eye as well. It helps it pop. It draws the attention there. So I'm going to just keep pat a pat a pat a pat 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 pat. Yeah, I, uh, songs always come to mind. All right, when you feel you've got it in, you're not pulling your padding, then next we are going to take our uh, loose powder. I use my Laura Mercier powder, loose powder, in translucent. I put a little bit on there and do it in the in the lid like a so. And then I will go forth and powder. <laughs> and you don't need a lot of powder because <laughs> you get too much powder, it will set in the creases. Not enough and it will and your eyes will crease. Makeup. It's not for the faint of heart. All right looks groovy. All right, so our eye is ready to go. And what I'm doing, I have a palette. Any palette that you have on hand will do. And I'm going to just use a few colors that are very subdued. Or the other word I love, subtle. So I'm going to take, this is a still a palette called The Eyes Are the Windows. And the color, of course, is Soul. And I'm going to use this lighter color to start with. And then I will use the darker in the corner. All right, before we even do that, we're going to take our shield. Now, it just has been very helpful for me to stay in the area that I need. It just makes it easier. And you can just hold a Kleenex up there as well. 
because we want to stay like this. All right, so I'm going to take my little shadow shield and I'm going to go like this so that it won't rip the skin off my face. And then I'm going to place my shield at the end of my brow and then right under my eye so that we are concentrating just on this corner. You can mess with it until you feel like you've got it. Um, you don't want to put it in your eyeball. And when you have the placement good, now you're ready to go. Now I'm going to take this brush here. This is by IT. This is a great little crease brush, and I'm going to use that for the majority of this eye tutorial. So I'm going to dip in the color, and if, you, if you're dipping in any darker colors, just make sure it's not too dark. These colors are not. So I'm going to go right here. Do you see that crepey skin? And the key is to not open your eyes because it just won't work. So I'm going to go straight in to right here where it starts, where my hood starts. That's where you want to go, and I'm going to draw straight over. Now, this is a very, as I said, very light color. So, do you see? And you don't go past your shield. And I'm just going to keep applying this here in that corner. And I'm going to go down here, right up in this corner. Some people do not need a shield at all, but it really was helpful for me. So you're just drawing a line straight out and not going past your shield. And some people only need to stay right in this area, but I have such a hood. <laughs> that when I close my eyes, and that's how I want to put it on. See? And just keep applying. And then I'm going to come straight down so that I have like a third of my eye covered in this lighter color. Go straight, and we'll do cleanup after. It always looks kind of funny at first going from that start of the hood and over. And as I said, mine is so challenging because it's so heavy. All right, and then I'm gonna take the darker color with this same brush and dab in there. And then I'm going to just go right in the corner, right in the corner, right in this area. We're just trying to get the emphasis here, and we're just going to do, we're not going to do a lot to the eye. Do you see? Okay. And then you'll just want to blend it. Just keep blending. As I said, we'll clean it up. If you've gone too high or not high enough, it takes practice. I'm still, it's different every time. And this eye is different than this eye. This eye is less hooded than this eye. So, okay. If you feel... If you feel that is good, that you've got it in the placement, we're just on the place we're focusing at, then you can remove your shield without ripping your face off. I'm going to get the full heavy off because I have such a heavy brow. And I like to take the darker color as well. And because of that, I start right here and I go in just, just right where it was. Don't go up. Don't go on your eyelid. And I give a little more definition in there. It just kind of softens the line as well. All right. And then I'm going to take another little brush like this because I'm going to do some lightening on this part of my eye here. So I'm going to take this lighter color here. Not sure what color it is. I'll just call it ooh la la. And just dip in that. And then I'm going to look straight ahead again. Ooh yeah. It's a little glimmer which will help your eye pop out more. <laughs> Not pop out of your head, but will have this part of your eye pop out. And you can go right here too. Right here in your tear duct. And just where you've got it placed. And then we're going to take that same brush we had before and we're going to blend. So this will blend everything together. Keep blending. Keep blending. We're going to clean this whole bit up here. I am going to take a clean blender and work on this to diffuse it. Sometimes I go up too high. So you just keep working it. Just keep doing this. See? And focusing on that area. And some people, like I always, I like to go out farther because it's such a heavy hood. Other people just go right here. They don't need to go other people. It depends on your eye shape. 
Remember to keep that eye shape in mind. You don't want it to look all clownish, you know, but you want to, you know, your eye, you want to look ahead and you want your eye to have this upturned, especially I do, and to diffuse this saggy skin. So it, as I said, it takes practice and we're going to clean this up here in a bit, but we're going to finish up this eye first. I'm going to go off camera and put on my uh, tight line and my mascara and that's really going to make this eye pop. Okay, see the difference? This eye is still downturned and it looks more smushed than this eye. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it. Just It's a very simple technique following your eye shape. Now we're going to work on our under eyes. Now check them. If they feel like they might be a tad dry, it, it's a good idea to take some cream, some of your eye cream or just moisturizer and dab it under there. We really want the eyes to be hydrated, but we don't want them sopping wet. Okay, mine feel pretty good. So because I have deep set uh, eye sockets, I like to use a color corrector in those areas first. And I have this e.l.f. putty color corrector eye brightening um, putty, 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 in this little pale peach. And I take it on my little finger and I'm gonna go right in to that area. And I don't go any farther than here. This is where I have the darkness. And I like to apply it with my finger on both sides so I can do it like this. The little finger seems to get in there good and just pat it go like this for some reason that helps <laughs> and I also have a little sponge a little tiny sponge like this damp sponge that I will help okay and like I said it's not a whole lot I'm just going down to the purple purple you won't get rid of it completely, but we will diffuse it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my uh, concealer by CoverGirl. It is, I have to read this and I don't want to put my glasses on. I'm using the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Triple Action Concealer in Buff. You want it just a little bit lighter than your uh, makeup. So I take this little foot here and I go in lightly and I go into the areas that I know I need. Uh, correcting and I have you know my indent from my glasses so I always try to include that and then I have my little concealer brush and I pat I don't drag I just well I don't drag hard I just try to go up I want this again and I always have a tendency to get too far in here and I deep set eyes are a challenge Just pat it lightly, then I take my sponge and you just keep looking and you want to just add it a little bit at a time, ladies, really, because too much will cake. And I like to go on while I'm here. As I said, I just a little dabble do you. I had a zit first time in 25, 30 years, I had a zit. Oh my gosh, as soon as I turned 67. I'm still far from heaven. Thank you ladies for everybody uh, giving me ideas to how to rhyme with my new number. And all the suggestions always had heaven in them. So since I don't want to be at heaven's door right now, I got a little fallout up there too. Okay. I still feel less is more and it'll help it not crease. Now, I use an eye brightening powder by Lori Mercier to set it. So I'm gonna take this little fluff fluff my crush here. Dip it, dip it. Dip, 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 dip. Get all that off and we're gonna go under and we're gonna pat and lightly, lightly swish. Oh, yar. Like I said, I got some fallout up there, but all right, my brain has falled out. Okay, that was just very, very simple under eye and um, upper eye. <laughs> For me, it has 
it just has really done what I wanted by keeping my eyes up, bringing my eyes up. And you'll see when I go off camera and do the rest of my face and eye, you're going to see how, how amazing it looks. All right. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back. All right, voila, ladies. This is the look, finished look. And I think if you apply these techniques, no matter your eye shape, and focus on the areas that are your trouble spots, I have figured out my eyes and what I need to do to draw them out. And that's what I want you to do with these techniques. And the under eye as well. And I can tell you, it will not crease if you follow the steps I did. I don't have time to show you tonight because I just finished this video today. But I will show you on another video when I do some get ready with me. Yeah, my next video coming up is gonna be Ipsy Reveal plus all this Korean skincare my beautiful friend gave me. I, I just, I'm excited about all of this. I really would love you to keep your suggestions coming. That's how I know what you want and uh, if you like them or not. And, and having said that, please like and subscribe. That's the only way I'm going to know what you really want. You just, you make my channel. Seriously, I couldn't do this without you. So please don't give up if you haven't seen any suggestions you've made brought yet. I, I just, I have a lot down and I wrote them down so they will be coming. Anyway, everybody stay wild and sassy and take care of yourself and I will see you again soon. So now, Lala's really out. <laughs>